Hello friends. In this video, we will learn about waste, their types and its management. What do you do with your old toys, books, clothes and things that you no longer use? They are usually thrown away. Have you ever wondered what happens to all the things that we throw away? Let's find out answer for this question. What is waste? We see a lot of waste lying all around our city. This creates lots of problems for the people living there. Anything that is eliminated or discarded as no longer useful or required after the completion of a process is called waste. Waste is also known as rubbish, trash, junk or garbage. The rock garden of Chandiga in India is completely made of industrial and home waste and thrown away items. Types of Waste Household Waste The waste generated by people at homes is called household waste. This includes vegetable peels, leftover food, wrapping materials, tins, cans and domestic sewage. Industrial Waste The waste generated by industries is called industrial waste. This includes chemicals, metal scraps, plastics and waste water. Agriculture Waste The waste generated on agricultural farms is called agricultural waste. This includes fertilizers, husk and chaff. Solid Waste At home, vegetable and fruit peels, waste papers and wrappers of food items are the different types of solid wastes that are produced. Fallen leaves and dead plants also add to it. Solid waste is broadly classified into two types biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Waste that can be decomposed by small living organisms known as decomposers that are present inside the soil and air is called the biodegradable waste. Such wastes finally get mixed with the soil. All products that originate from living living matter form biodegradable wastes. For example, fruit and vegetable peels, animal remains, leaves, papers and manures are biodegradable wastes. Waste that cannot be decomposed into simpler substances by decomposers is called non-biodegradable waste. For example, plastic and tin articles that are thrown in the soil do not break down even after thousands of years. They do not merge with nature, and hence, this kind of waste is dangerous for all living creatures. Because non-biodegradable wastes do not decay, they get washed into the sewer system clog it, causing water logging problems. Disposing non-biodegradable waste is extremely difficult, and hence, immense work is being done by our government to develop the recycling process that will help in converting the harmful wastes into useful substances. When we wash the dishes, dirty water containing the washed-off dirt flows the drain. Similarly, the runoff water from agricultural farms contains chemical fertilizers. Industries also release effluents as waste products of their processes. Gaseous waste mainly produced by the exhausts of vehicles and chimneys of factories in the form of smoke and harmful gases constitutes gaseous waste. Burning of leaves, papers, plastics and coal also release smoke and harmful gases into the air, thus adding to gaseous waste. The first step in managing waste is waste segregation. The methods employed for the disposal of biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes are entirely different. Every house must have separate bins for different kind of waste. In public places, it is advisable to mark the bins as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Compostable waste includes fruit and vegetable peels, leftover food, decaying food items and garden litter. Such type of waste is collected in green colored bins. Recycle waste includes objects made of plastic, metal and glass. 
such type of waste is collected in blue colored bins. Some toxic waste materials such as used syringes, expired medicines and used batteries are collected separately in red colored bins. Put waste in the right place. Once the waste is segregated into different types, we need to know how to handle them so that they are less hazardous to all living creatures. Waste management strategy has always propagated the use of 5 R. Refuse. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Reform. How often do we indulge in impulsive buying? We end up buying stuff that we don't really need or we buy it simply because it is cheap. We must learn to say no to things that we actually do not need. As the name suggests, reduce would mean using less and therefore producing less waste. Conservation involves wise and limited usage of resources to generate less waste. For example, students should be careful with the quantity of papers they use. Reuse is a good method of reducing garbage. Materials may be reused either to serve its original purpose or use it for entirely different purpose. Jam bottles and jars can be used as storage containers and old clothes and toothbrushes can be used for dusting and cleaning objects. Not all articles can be reused. However, with the development of technology, they are recycled to make completely different items, thereby reducing the production of more waste. For example, plastic bottle can be recycled to make completely different things such as comb or pens. Some thermosetting plastic wastes that might be hard to recycle into new products, can also be used to extract the raw materials present in them, through more complex chemical processes. These materials can then be used to make new products. Wastes that contain substances harmful for human health and environment are called toxic wastes. These toxic wastes have harmful effects on human health because they contain cancer-causing substances. The toxic waste may even reach water bodies such as streams and groundwater, which when consumed by plants and animals, will affect the surrounding wildlife. Unlike biodegradable garbage, plastic cannot be burnt because it emits toxic gases. Some plastic give out dioxins on burning, which are highly carcinogenic. It is very important to handle and manage our plastic bags correctly. Some steps may be useful to handle and manage our plastic bags correctly. Avoid using plastic bags. As far as possible, use reusable bags. If avoiding plastic bags is not possible, reuse them as many as many times as you can before disposing them. Find out the correct place to dispose the plastic bags from where they may be collected easily for recycling. We know that paper is obtained from trees. Due to the large demand for paper these days, trees are being cut at an alarming rate. Cutting of trees can be reduced by recycling paper. The recycled paper is not good in quality as the original paper, but it can be used to make things such as carry bags, envelopes, egg trays, rough notebooks and food cartons. We must use paper carefully to save trees. There are numerous simple ways of doing this. Reuse newspaper to cover your school books and notebooks. Sell the waste objects made of paper to a scrap dealer for recycling. Write on both sides of a blank paper. Avoid printing unnecessary pages. Make a new notebook by removing the unused pages from old notebooks and stapling them together. Two important methods used in biodegradable waste management are composting and landfilling. In composting the decomposers are work on the plant remains and other components of the organic materials and convert them into earthy, dark, 
crumbly substances called compost. It is used as organic manure to enrich soil. Decomposers require air, water and plant products the greens and the browns. The greens consist of fresh plant materials such as green leaves, remains of fruits and vegetables and leaves. The browns consist of dead plant remains such as dead leaves, straws and dry seeds. Vermicomposting involves the addition of red worms to the compost pit. These worms act on the waste and degrade them into nutrient-rich manure in about 3 to 4 weeks. Worm compost is a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer and soil conditioner in a form that is relatively easy for plants to absorb. Landfilling is a method of disposing waste by burying it. This is an age-old garbage disposal method. The most important thing that should be considered while using this method is that the disposal area should not bring about any environmental hazard. Hope you understand everything about waste and its management. Please do like share and subscribe our channel.